Catching Cheaters and proud of it. Ow, I'm sorry. It's your home for War of the Roses on Mojo in the Morning. Mary, who do you think is cheating on you? My husband. How long have you guys been married? Two years. And why are you now suddenly suspicious? Well, in the two years that we've been married, I've never been to his job or any of like his work functions or anything like that. Okay. And is that why you think? You think that he's just keeping you away from, from his work? Maybe. I mean, I went to company um, picnic, and everyone there kept calling me by the wrong name. The same name? And then, no, they, my, like, my name's Mary. They were calling me Emily. But I'm, but, but I'm saying everybody was using the, the name Emily. They weren't calling you just different names in general. Yeah, everybody was calling me Emily. Okay. Oh, even, okay, that's even not somebody good. tried to convince me that they had met me before. They were like, "No, you've been to, you've been to like happy hour. You remember Emily?" And I'm like, I'm "Not Emily. <laughs> and I've never been to anything yeah. involving before." Hmm. Ha- has uh, he worked at for longer than two years? Maybe beforehand they met somebody else. No, he's only been there for about a year, a year and a half at, at most. Wow, that's, that's a little weird. It's a little yeah. suspicious. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you say anything to your husband about this? I haven't yet. Why is that? You just didn't want the confrontation? I don't know what to say. I guess it's it's such a strange thing to have happen to you. I don't want to immediately assume, but at the same time... It all seems kind of suspicious. Well, if they're all saying the wrong name, I'd be like, okay, either he just doesn't talk about you much or they're just confused people. If they're all saying the The same same wrong name, he's talking about somebody else. Yeah. And if somebody says that they met you, then he was at a function with another woman. Mm -hmm. Um, We're going to call him up and we're going to see where he's going to send a dozen free roses with the War of the Roses. Mute your phone. Okay. War of the Roses. Calling up Mary's husband. Hello? Hey, I'm looking for Devin. Is this Devin? Speaking. Hey, Devin, my name's Nicole, and I'm calling from a brand new internet floral company called rosesbloom.com with an offer for some free flowers. If you can answer two quick survey questions for me, do you have 30 seconds or so? Uh, if we do quick. Okay. Have you purchased flowers in the last six months? No. Do you plan on purchasing flowers in the next six months? No. Okay. That's actually all I need from you. And like I said, as a thank you for participating in the survey, rosesbloom.com is going to give you a dozen long-stemmed red roses. And these can go anywhere in the country uh, to the person of your choice. Not going to ask you for your credit card information or anything. I just need a first and the last name of the person you want to send them to. Um, Emily. Okay. And her last name? Okay. And before I get Emily's info from you, Devin, we can also include a message on a card with the flowers. Did you want to do something like that? Uh, you can just put from Devin, D-V-I-N. Okay, from Devin. Love Devin. Just just put Devin. Okay. Um, and can I ask, just so we can have it on file in case you order flowers from us again, what is your relationship to Emily? Just, just a friend. Okay. Devin, I also have to let you know really quickly that this call is being recorded for quality and training purposes. Are you okay with that? Uh, yeah. Fine. Great. Devin, I also need to uh, inform you that while we were making the call to you to see who you'd send the flowers to, that your wife, Mary, has been listening in and heard you send flowers to another woman. Devin, this is the Mojo in the Morning Show. We're a radio show that tries to help people out who think that their spouses are cheating on them. And Mary called us up because she suspected that there was somebody else in your life. Well, there's not. 
there's nobody else in your life? The, that person that you just sent the flowers to is not somebody else that's in your life? No. But why would you then send... why did you just send roses to her? Just a friend. But why would you pick her to send the flowers to over your wife? Because they were free. It wasn't something I was doing. I know, but wouldn't your wife be the the first person you think of when you're getting a dozen long-stemmed red roses? Like a pretty romantic when get, gesture. When I'm getting them. If I'm getting them, yeah. Devin, Mary suspected that there was somebody else possibly in your life when she went to one of your work functions and everybody started calling her Emily. Emily is the girl that you just sent the flowers to. Who is Emily? She's a co-worker, a friend. She's a co-worker. If she's a co-worker, why would people that you work with call your wife Emily? Wouldn't they know that she's not Emily? She's just a friend I met through work people. But you brought her to a work event. You'll admit that. Yeah, at some point, I'm sure. But you didn't tell your wife that you brought another woman, even if she was just a friend to a work event? No. Why would I do that? <laughs> Mary? Well, because we're married and you wanted to be honest with me and not hide things from me that make it seem like you're seeing someone else? Well, I'm not. I don't know what to tell you. You're not seeing anyone else. You just send flowers to her and you bring her around to work functions. No. I, and let I people think that whoever you're seeing or you're married to is named Emily when that's not anywhere near my name. I, I can't control what people think. Why has Mary, your wife, not met this Emily if she's just mm -hmm. you know, this nice friend of yours? She's just a coworker. I don't know. Wait, she's a coworker. She's a friend. What do you explain? I thought she was a friend that was introduced to you by some coworkers. Uh, you guys are trying to change my words. Mm, not really. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you don't have your story straight. Nothing to get straight about. It. I don't know what you're talking about. If if you think of all of the strikes against you here, first off, you said the flowers to someone other than your wife. You. Your wife has never even heard of this person, let alone met her. You brought her to your workplace before your wife even went to your workplace. And your co-workers know this other person enough to remember her name and the fact that they met. Mary? I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do right now. I don't, I don't even. It just doesn't, it doesn't seem like you're being honest with me. You tricked me, so I don't know who you think's being honest with who. Well, you're, you're, are you kidding me right now? You're hanging out with some behind my back. How do you expect me to feel? What if I was hanging out with some man? Yeah, and if there were a good explanation, I'd be fine with it. You don't have a good explanation! I'm gonna put you... I'm gonna put you guys on hold right now, and I'm gonna let you guys talk... And, and and try to sort this out. Mary, hang on. Uh -huh. This is the home of the 